again. <laughs> this time I am recording in the morning and I just, for a while I'd wanted to make videos, post them on YouTube, make really nice ones, good quality. Um, but I have a six month old son and so it just never happened. Um, when I'm with him, I just don't have time to do stuff like this or let alone put it on my laptop, edit it, things like that. <laughs> so, um, like the other day, I just, I felt really passionately about what I was speaking about and I just wanted to share it immediately as fast as possible. So maybe one day I'll refilm these in a much better way and post them. But for now, this is, this will just have to do. Um, and I just wanted to share today about uh, my views and my beliefs as um, I am a Christian and I'm a vegan. And um, it's sad because I feel like a lot, a lot of the Christians that I know in my community, um, they're not vegan. They completely wholeheartedly believe, and it is what it is, that animals were put here by God for us to eat. And there are a lot of Bible verses that you can reference to support that theory. There are also a lot of Bible verses you can reference to support any theory, like if you know that being gay is wrong, or you shouldn't wear pants if you're a woman, <laughs> or you shouldn't cut your hair, you know, a million different things. You know, not just those things, but a lot. So you understand what I'm saying. Um, and so with meat and dairy, um, I personally um, have done a little bit of research just to help me better understand and from everything that I've read, you know, whether Jesus ate meat or not, we don't really know. I don't know. Um, but for me as a Christian, as a vegan, it is enough that he, when he create, when God created the earth, which is what I believe, it's okay if you don't believe that. But that is what I believe. And so my, what I know is that he created the earth. He created the Garden of Eden. He created Adam. He created Eve. He created all the animals. And he told, you know, Adam and Eve, every green thing is here for you to eat, to nourish your body, to sustain your life, every green thing. And of course, in the Garden of Eden, there, like, there was no death. Um, there was no, you know, murder, sin, they didn't kill animals, they didn't need to kill animals, and, so, and they didn't kill animals, and they didn't even have the desire to do that. I mean, until, you know, sin and all of that, and then they get out of the garden, whatever. But for me, um, just that truth alone is enough. Um, just knowing that God intended, when he created all of the vegetation on earth, he intended for that to sustain the life of the humans that he made just shows me and tells me that we do not need any meat or animal byproduct. We don't need any of it to live. Um, and so if we don't need it and if it's hurting other creatures on this earth, if it's hurting them or killing them, why would I want to eat it or partake in that why you know um and I I feel like especially personally I feel like my vegan lifestyle um and my spiritual beliefs my religious beliefs perfectly align I I believe um and you know of course not everyone is going to see that or think that way and that's perfectly fine but for me, that's enough. For me, it totally makes sense. And it totally just fuels my passion even more because I know that this earth was created to grow from the ground everything that our bodies need. And I love that. I love it. It is, it just makes me really happy that the two, two of the biggest parts of who I am um, align perfectly. So I just wanted to share that um, because obviously as a vegan, as a Christian, I hear all the time, well, God gave us these animals to kill. God, and it's, it's just, 
it's kind of funny and sad to think about when you're a Christian, you believe God does love us. And a lot of people quote the verse um, about, like, he knows even when a sparrow falls. And it's like, he does. He know, He created every animal. He knows them deeply and wholly. And, you know, I don't think that he wants us to be doing to them, you know, what we're doing to them here in this, you know, 2017. <laughs> Because whenever you look into it, we're doing a lot of terrible things. <laughs> but, yeah, I just wanted to share that. And I really hope that, um, obviously, this isn't super educational. It's just me sharing 